chain tensioning. Chain tensioning on an off-road bike is vitally, vitally important. Because if you do not do it right, you will create a chain reaction. So things will just go wrong. It's actually vitally important in off-road to make sure the chain tension is right. It can cost you a lot of money if you don't do it correctly. Uh, we have off-road racing concepts giving us um, an example of how they do it on a KTM, note a KTM, different bikes work in various ways. Take note and, and just use this little tip, it really, really will help. One of the main reasons for premature sprocket wear is an incorrectly adjusted chain. And as you can see from this motorcycle, the chain is way too loose and that's going to cause the sprockets to wear prematurely. So what we're going to do is show you the correct way of adjusting the chain. To perform the operation on this KTM Enduro motorcycle, you will need a number 27 spanner, a number 13 and a number 10, and we suggest you get yourself a good measuring tape. The correct tension that we're trying to get to is 8 to 10 mils from the bottom of the swing arm in the front here to the top of the chain. And as you can see, this chain actually hits against the swing arm. So what Vinny is going to do is adjust the chain that we've got 10 mils from the base of the swing arm to the top of the chain when you push up on it, give it some pressure. And that'll be the correct tension on this bike. What Vinny's going to do now is loosen the main axle bolt with his number 27 wrench. Just sufficient that the axle is now um, loose from the wheel. And then he can proceed to loosen the number 13 locking nut. And he will duplicate that on the other side. He'll loosen the number 13 locking nut so that he can now start adjusting the chain tensioner bolts, chain tensioners. Vinny is now going to pull back on the axle blocks so that he puts more tension on the chain to tighten it up. As you'll see, Vinny is slowly taking it back on each of the left and the right axle block while holding the tension at the measuring point on the swing arm. As he pulls it back, his finger will come apart to get the 8 to 10 mils of tension we require. Very important that we align the blocks up equally so that you get the correct um, drive on the rear, rear wheel. Right, let's check the tension. What we're looking for is between 8 to 10 mils from the bottom of the swing arm to the top of the chain at this position. Exactly right, Vinny. Spot on. What Vinny is going to do now is going to ensure that the axle blocks are equally um, spaced, that his marks are lining up, and then he's going to tighten her up. And what he'll ensure is that when he's tightening it, he's actually putting tension on the chain to pull the rear wheel forward to ensure that he gets the axle blocks lined up. What you need is the correct torque on the rear axle bolt. It's 80 Newton meters on the KTMs and uh, ensure that you get it right because if you tighten it too tight, it could lead to premature bearing wear. That's 80 Newton meters. What we're gonna do now is Vinny's gonna lock the number 13 bolt to ensure that the chain is just to stay in place and there's no movement. And you'll notice that he'll actually hold the number 10 as well because that will start turning when he starts to tighten up the number 13 bolt. Then he's going to repeat this on the other side just to ensure that both sides are tight. And that's a wrap on tensioning your chain. Now remember that it's important to check your chain before every single ride. As I said, um, a loose chain, a chain that's too tight could uh, lead to premature sprocket wear. It can also run your front sprocket seals, especially on the KTM. And also, you know, you want to keep your chains in pristine condition. So always keep them clean, 
well oiled and uh, changed last to at least 12 months with regular maintenance.